All right, I want to share something with you. Remember I was talking about America basically put the chill on the crypto industry and went after crypto and is afraid of crypto and all kinds of stuff like that, whatever. Um, you see Ripple that was going overseas to Singapore and Singapore is like, you know, is ground zero for crypto. Now I'm going to put something out there for you. Coinbase obtains major payment institution license from Monetary Authority of Singapore. I'm going to read one piece for you here. Okay. Let me see where I have it. Okay, two seconds. Anyway, Coinbase Singapore is pleased to announce that we have obtained a major payment institution license, yada, yada, yada. Okay, That's not, this is the part right here. In our recent international expansion update, really get the fuck out of America, we emphasize the importance of clear regulation. We've been asking America and government for that for the longest time. Innovation and trust from our users. With 25% of survey Singaporeans considering crypto as the future of finance and 32% being either current or past owners of crypto, Singapore has naturally become a more significant location for the industry. That's where everybody's moving there. That's why I told you when it's time to cash out your XRP in large amounts and stuff like that, their banks are going to be receptive <laughs> easily. Moreover, Singapore is home to over, this is important, 700 Web3 companies, making it a pivotal market for the growth of the crypto and Web3 economy. That's what I was talking to you about. Remember when I did the video? I mean, I did it about a year or so ago about Web3. Singapore is leading the way on it. You understand? That's why the government is making sure that the banks there are crypto friendly, the laws, the regulations, everything. Ripple is right in the center of all that. They're there. Now, those 700 uh, Web3 development companies, they're the ones that are building the next generation, the next layers on top of technology like Ripple. You have to understand, sorry, XRP Ledger. You have to understand the future for XRP is not even started yet. And they're right in the center of it. Their, their, their biggest hiring is in Singapore. So my advice to you here, people that are holding a grip of XRP, is to start to really understand like everything you can about Singapore and stuff like that because this is a new world. Like this is, you know, this is time to Raymond Reddington the fuck up. If you hold X amount of coins, let's just say 10,000 on, and this stuff gets to a certain amount. I don't trust the United States when it comes to XRP and Ripple. It's just my feeling on it. I've seen them go after it, the whole thing. At the banks, they're all tied with the government. I don't, I don't want to fuck around with that. So yeah, Singapore. Singapore is showing the future of what this is going to be. Don't look at America. A couple of people buying crypto here and there. The future is overseas. Crypto is the future of finance. So I thought that would make you happy knowing that what you're seeing in America is nothing. Over here, you're seeing the Sam Bankman trial. <laughs> Not for nothing. <laughs> they gave him trial. They wouldn't give me trial. <laughs> that's, I, that's a different story. But I'm thinking to myself, like, the reality is this. America could have been the world leader in all of this, in Web3 development. We, we created this. Silicon Valley was our thing. And at the end of the day, this government put a chill on it. And now overseas is leading the way. So do you really think that the rest of the world is going to get back into bed with America's, uh, America's uh, tech, swift technology for moving money? <laughs> Everybody's leaving. The world has moved past America. There you go.